Hey everybody, Ann here. I've already had my coffee, but today we are going to make a water filter. Now this is just the way that I do it, so if you have a different way of doing it, well, share it down in the comment section below. So let's get started. What are you going to need to make this water filter? Well, I'll show you. First of all, you're going to need a container that is going to become the water filter. I have used two liter soda bottles, uh, one gallon water bottles, um, and today I'm going to be using a three gallon water container that the lovely Miss Connie sent me. And so that's the first thing that you need. You need something like cheesecloth. I've used gauze. I have used cotton. I don't really like cotton. It's get, it gets too compacted and it slows the water flow down a little bit too much. And I've also used coffee filters. I don't recommend coffee filters because eventually they just stop the flow altogether. They won't filter anymore and you have to take them out and basically start all, all over. Um, cheesecloth has worked great and also gauze has worked really great for me. You are also going to want to have a very clean bucket. Now I use a white bucket when I'm filtering water because I want to be able to see down into the water and see what color it is, see if there's any sediment that's getting through because if there is, then it needs to be refiltered. And you need at least one lid, maybe two. I'm gonna use two and I'll show you why later. This is very important. This is activated carbon. It's made from burned coconut shells basically and they've already crushed it all up for me and everything. You can make your own biochar. All you have to do is get some hardwood, uh, burn it, and pour water over it uh, when the, you know, it basically turns to charcoal, and then just crush it up. But this is already done for me, so this is gonna be great. And you need, <laughs> pebbles, rocks, stones. Now, a lot of times I use sand, in, in addition, I'll, I'll do the, the cloth, the biochar, then sand, and then pebbles, and then rocks. But I don't have all that right now, and this contains a multitude of different sizes of rocks. So I think that's going to work just fine. I don't, I don't think I'm going to need to add the sand. And what the sand actually does is just another barrier so that um, small particles can't get through. But I am not going to be filtering any water that has a whole lot of particles in it. It's going to come from my water catchment system and it's already had a lot of that particulate filtered out because it, come, it goes in through a screen. So there's not going to be a bunch of leaves and, you know, grass and stuff. There's going to be some very fine particles, but the other parts of the filter are going to take care of that. All right, let's get started. Using the cap to the three gallon container, mark a little circle around the top of the lid. Keep going around the circle with whatever sharp thing you got until it's deep enough that you can just pop it out or just cut it out or whatever. You can also use a hole saw. I didn't have the right size bit for the hole saw, so I just did it this way. With the lid on, put your container down into the hole and see if it fits. Yep, looks pretty good. Now it's time to drill holes in your lid. I'm just drilling five. Now you have to cut the bottom out of your container and this will effectively make it the top of your filter. I ended up having to use the little saw on my multi-tool. It worked pretty good. Screw the cap on your container and turn it over and now it is time to start filling your water filter with all the wonderful things that's going to make your water safe to drink. The first thing you need to put down into your water filter is the cheesecloth or gauze or whatever it is you're going to use. 
and I like to get it fluffed up. I don't like to just throw it down in there because I like to really shove it down in the cap really well so that the last point at which the water leaves the filter, it's going to be going through that cheesecloth. Next layer is your biochar. You're going to want to put in oh, about two or three inches in this size filter. Now it's time for your stones or sand or gravel or whatever you're going to use. If you're going to go the route of sand, then pebbles, then stones, yes, definitely add the smallest particles first. That's going to be your sand. That's going to go on top of your biochar and then your pebbles and then your stones so that the largest thing is on the top of the filter. There you have it. Your beautiful water filter is complete. Is it going to work? Don't know. Going to go get some water and find out. I brought this operation up here on the porch so I could sit right here and just do it and watch Miss Judy. Oh, she's going to drink out of it. <laughs> That's all right. And I'm just going to take this. Oops. Sorry, Judy. And pour it into here. This first run is going to be murky because this activated carbon probably has some dust and the rocks probably has some dirt and dust in it. So I'm just going to pour a few scoopfuls through and then we're going to take that filter out and see what it looks like down the bottom of it. If it's looking terrible, that's okay. We'll just keep re-filtering it until it gets nice and clear. Yeah, see that? See how murky that is? I don't think it's going to be clear when it gets down into the bucket. I'm pretty sure it's going to look pretty much like that. But after a few times filtering and after the carbon is good and wet and whatnot, it's going to look perfectly clear. I guarantee you it's going to be clear. See that? Looks pretty murky. That's all stuff coming off those rocks. So once this empties, I put about four gallons in there. Once this is done, we're going to take a look in the bottom and see what it looks like down there. I bet you it's a mixture of that color and kind of like a grayish tint. But I guarantee you this filter will filter that all out after the second or third rinsing. What you doing, Miss Judy? You being bad? Or you being good? I think she's being good. This is just about stopped dripping, so I'm going to go ahead and see if I can just take this off. Oh, I think I'm going to need both hands. Maybe, maybe not. Maybe, yeah. I'm just going to take this off, put it over here, and have a look on inside the bucket and see what we got. Yep, just as I predicted. Kind of like a grayish, murky color, so we're going to filter it again. Just going to pour it over here and see what happens the second time. Just gonna do this whole process over again. The second filtering has been done, so I'm gonna take this off and move it over there and see what we got in this one. Maybe a little bit better. We gotta do this again. I'm not sure if you can see it very well, but I do really like this gravel because it's got all different sizes and the smallest seem to settle to the bottom and there is some sand in this and that settles to the bottom right above the biochar. So I think that this, these rocks are gonna work just fine. Well, it is still filtering. This is the fifth time. So after this is done, hopefully we'll have some nice, clear, clean drinking water. Looks like the fifth time did it. It looks very clear and doesn't look like there's anything floating in it. So I am gonna take a little taste test and a smell test. And a look test. Ooh, look at that. Look at that. All right. Let's, uh, let's look over here. Kind of hard to see, but looks crystal clear. Look at that. Crystal clear. Let me see how it smells. Smells like plain old water. All right, let me take a sip. 
Yep, it tastes good, and it tastes better than the stuff I remember getting out of the tap. I haven't had tap water in so long, but I remember it always having kind of like a weird, I don't know, some kind of weird taste to it. Well, this does not have that weird taste to it, and it has turned out perfectly clear. I'm drinking it in one of my new glasses. Isn't that pretty? So, my new water filter was a success. I hope you enjoyed this little tutorial, and hopefully... Some of you have your own ideas on how you can build your own water filter, so let me know. And, well, that's all I got for you guys today. See you in the next video.